The Earth is a blue planet. Over 70% of its surface is covered with salt water. Deep below the sea surface lies a fascinating landscape. It may seem alien, but it is teeming with life. Many diverse ecosystems thrive in the dark, cold and remote depths of the world's oceans. Europe is no exception. Sea mounts, cold seeps, submarine canyons, our deep seas harbour many ecological hotspots. However, the deep sea is also being heavily exploited for oil and gas, for fish and other resources. Land-based pollution only adds to these concerns. The Hermione project is investigating hotspot ecosystems in European seas. From the Arctic to the Azores, from the Eastern to the Western Mediterranean. Years of seagoing research have taught us a lot about how these ecosystems are distributed and how they work. But overall, our understanding is still poor. We are only just beginning to understand the complex and delicate relationships in these biological communities. Cold water corals have been one focus of Hermione research in recent years. These organisms provide important habitats and shelters for deep sea marine life. Deep sea corals are important in many ways. Um, not only because of their rich life, plentiful of species that mainly occur there, but also because they support commercially important fish stocks and other fishes. The uh, diversity in the uh, coral reefs are several times higher than the surrounding ambient bottom types. And um, these sites may serve as a kind of species pools for other hard bottom habitats. Unfortunately, cold water coral reefs, as well as other European hotspot areas, are under threat. Many human activities affect the deep sea. Hermione scientists have shown that bottom trawling for fish has by far the largest impact. Cold water corals are destroyed by fishing gear, which rolls over the seabed, devastating everything in its path. Other human impacts, such as litter and chemical pollution, also threaten these fragile ecosystems. Land-based chemicals, for example, can be found at the top of the marine food web. The deep sea is not uh, protected by, uh, you know, it's not because it's so remote and, and, and unknown and far away from us that it's not impacted. So we do have a, uh, an environmental crisis down there too. But what can we do to stem this crisis? Knowing where these ecosystems are, we could probably define which areas are under threat, which areas need further protection, and knowing which organisms live at these habitats will also help us to know where are the rare species, where do we really need to take care that we do not lose these very fascinating ecosystems. Hermione scientists are providing high quality data and an understanding of how the deep sea ecosystems work. At the same time, the international community has set ambitious goals aimed at protecting ecological hotspots in the deep ocean. What we're trying to do is to make our research more connected to the world of policy and to the, the, the other stakeholders. The, the way we do that is we don't do it end of pipe. We don't do it at the end of the project. We try to involve policymakers and other actors in society into the project, from the design phase to the research phase into the, the delivery of our research results. 
Working with policymakers, we can create legislation such as protected areas in the sea that allow all users, fish and fishermen alike, to live together more harmoniously. If we want to protect Europe's deep seas for the future, it's vital to act now.